right, I'm going to be teaching you how to play The Best by Tina Turner, as arranged by Noah Reed from the show Schitt's Creek. So I'm starting out on the fifth fret of my guitar, um, and we're going to start on a G shape. So we're going to put our third finger, I'm sorry, we're going to put our, our second finger down on the third fret of the E, first finger down on the second fret of the A, and our third finger down on the third fret of the B here. We're going to be alternating our plucking between this bass note on the E and the B string. That is how the song starts out. Just like this. And then we're going to vary it by plucking the open high E string. Hear that rhythm? And this is how we start the verse out. switch to an E minor shape, which is keep our first finger there, put our second finger right behind it on the D string. Just as long as I'm here in your arms. Plucking between the B and the bass note, just like we were doing with the G. Baby, I could be no. So this note is a C. It's a variation of the C chord. We're going to put our second finger on the third fret of the A string, our first finger on the second fret of the D string, and our third finger right back on the third fret of the B string. It's just like our G shape, which is this, but we're moving these two fingers over. So from here, we're plucking the bass note, the A string, and that B string. So let me start the, the verse over for you guys. going from this C shape we're going to lift our fingers up except for the B string and we're going to put our first finger on the second fret of the E hit that F sharp quick transition do this for you into the chorus just as long as I'm here in your arms baby I could be no better place simply the best all right what I did just then from here is we're going to change our hand position we're going to move our third finger onto the third fret of the e and our second finger onto the second fret of the a hitting those g notes for the bass and the reason we're using these fingerings is because we need this first finger open to do this little plucking pattern we're going to do for the chorus so if i can get you guys in there we're going to be alternating between the g string and the b string for this plucking pattern so the first note is open g Alternate between the bass note and the G. And then we're going to put our first finger down on the second fret of that G. Just like that. And then we're going to put our first finger down on the first fret of the B. And then we're going to do open B. So I'll pluck it really slowly with you. Remember, we're alternating between this bass note and the G string. Open G, second fret G, first fret B, open B. Do that again. Open G, second fret G, first fret B, open B. Progressions on the G string from the start of the chorus. You're simply the best, better than all the rest. From here, we're going to switch to an E minor, but we're going to keep the same plucking pattern. I'm using my pinky to do the second fret of the G, and then my first finger on the first fret of the B. Open. Same thing 
we're doing with G, except now we're doing E minor. And then from the E minor, we're going to go back to our special C position, C shape. And then that F sharp D variant. So what that looks like is like this. You're simply the best. down the plucking pattern that I do on that C and D. I start on the A string and I go to the G and then the D and then the B. And then I go to the D and I do the same thing but I'm hitting the E note instead of the A. Um, as long as you're doing the right fingerings, you can pluck any of the notes and they'll sound, all of them will sound fine. So you pluck whatever rhythm works with, with for you. That's just what I do. All right, so after we've done the chorus from this position, we're going to transition to the bridge. Um, the bridge uses the normal C shape, which is first finger on the first fret of the B, second finger on the second fret of the D, and third finger on that third fret of the A. And I'm going to do a similar uh, pattern that we've been doing the whole song. Bass note on the A string and that B. And I'm just going to pluck between them. So what it sounds like... Like you're walking away and I'm just in the bass note for E which is open E and then the B again and we go back to C lift my heart in my soul I can feel you babe even when we're alone from here we're going to go to a D shape I'm gonna bring my thumb around and I'm gonna put it down on the second fret of that E to get that F sharp I'm gonna put my fingers in just the regular D shape still plucking the B baby don't so let's start back from the beginning, uh, the end of the chorus. Um. Each time you leave me, I start losing control. Like you walking away with my heart in my soul. I can feel you, babe, even when we're alone. Baby, don't let go. Then we go back to the chorus. You're simply the best. covered all the parts. Let me know if you have any questions. I can create another video for you.